as we have new allegations coming out from the Wall Street Journal that Vince McMahon has been paying off quite a few other women for their sexual favors. This was a story that has uh, been piggybacked off of a couple weeks ago when the Wall Street Journal were the ones that had broke the original story that Vince McMahon was fucking around with a paralegal and then he signed a non-disclosure agreement and paid her out a million, what was it, three million for that first one uh, to, to shut the fuck up and go away. And uh, during that investigation, it was noted right off the bat, I don't know if it was in the Wall Street Journal or if it was noted uh, by the WWE board, uh, the investigation team that they hired to do an internal investigation, that there were other non-disclosure agreements that were dug up during the research of this previous non-disclosure. So we kind of knew that this was a to-be-continued story. And, of course, uh, it didn't take very long for the Wall Street Journal to dig up more information on those other non-disclosure agreements. Um, instead of me rambling it all to you, uh, why don't you go ahead and take a look at this clip that's going to kind of break down some of these new details for you, and then I'll catch you on the backside. The Wall Street Journal published a new story written by Joe Palazzolo, Ted Mann, and Joe Flint, uncovering new information uh, previ about previously unreported settlements by World Wrestling Entertainment owner and CEO Vince McMahon to at least four women who have alleged sexual misconduct against the company's chairman. The total amount paid out over the last 16 years has totaled over $12 million, and are part of non-disclosure agreements that the four women signed and prevent them from discussing uh, or pursuing legal claims against the now 76-year-old McMahon. The journal notes that it has reviewed documents as well as spoken to people who are familiar with the matter. The biggest bombshells coming out of today's reporting include the report of a seven and a half million dollar settlement with a former wrestler who alleges that McMahon, quote, coerced her into giving him oral sex and then demoted her and ultimately declined to not to renew to not renew. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pardon me. Ultimately declined to renew her contract in 2005 after she resisted further sexual encounters. Well, I'll be damned, right? Like, who saw that one coming? Vince McMahon, more dirt in his background, more allegations, more non-disclosure agreements for sexual misconduct, blackmailing, perhaps. Um, again, this was hinted towards in the initial story that there were more non-disclosure agreements that were dug up. So it was only a matter of time before we got more details and more dirt on all this, but man, it keeps getting worse for Vince McMahon, doesn't it? And he keeps doubling down. This motherfucker, we have not seen so much of Vince McMahon in 20 years. This guy's on the fucking UFC now. He's sitting fucking in the crowd of a UFC since when has Vince McMahon ever went and sat in the crowd of anything ever? I don't even think this guy will go to the fucking opera. He's he's a man of work. He sits in the gorilla position or in his office in front of that big giant dinosaur head. And that's all he does. That's Vince McMahon. <clears throat> apparently it's not all he does, though. Uh, apparently he also uh, gets his dick sucked uh, by WWE Divas. Um... One of the more prominent allegations seems to come from an actual wrestler, a contracted wrestler. Vince's been doing this shit since the 80s, right? He's been using his power to get what he wants out of these women and using them for blackmail, perhaps. Maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe they are consenting in the whole thing. Uh, there's nothing in the story with that paralegal, this first story, you know, that came out a couple weeks ago. There's nothing in that story that hinted at any kind of non-consent or blackmail or bribery or, you know, using sexual favor to gain advancement, even though clearly, uh, you know, that person did gain quite a bit of advancement. 
more details came out on that too um <clears throat> which we'll jump to in a moment but one of them happened to be a wrestler uh there was enough details provided in that story without actually naming the the female wrestling talent that uh i have a pretty damn good idea who it is and just by browsing twitter i think a lot of you have a pretty good idea of who that is now uh i don't think it's fair to speculate or name drop you know there was a non-disclosure agreement um, people's privacy is is very important so i don't know that uh any of that needs to be said but uh if you know you know right uh, it's kind of obvious the way the story was a, a talent that was released in 2005. It was a talent that was demoted prior to being released. So they were a wrestler and then they were demoted down to something else or, you know, a lesser role to a certain extent after they didn't want to play ball. Um, to even further back this up, this talent, uh, there were some tweets dug up from this talent that kind of indicated that it, it matched up very well. Like her reason for leaving WWE matched up very closely to the story that's coming out now. But uh, I will leave it there as far as the details on that person. You know who it is. But let's just give her her privacy. Um, but dang, right? <clears throat> That's not good. There was some definite coro co co coercion, coro cohors, coro cor. He was he was trying to get her to do stuff. Coercion. That's what it is. Coercion. Sounds weird, but that's that's a real word, I believe. So uh, he was coercing this talent, perhaps, uh, saying, you know, you give give daddy a little something, and daddy will take care of you. <laughs> Um, God damn it! You suck my dick, God damn it! Or you have That's in poor taste. That's in poor taste. I should cut that, but I'm not going to. Fuck you guys. Um, it's not looking good for Vince, and I don't know that he's gonna be able to just keep coming out on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. There were other women. Uh, as well, or other situations that came out. Uh, there was one noted as a manager that uh, I don't know, it was not clear. Actually, Sean Ross Sapp did say on one of his shows that he is reaching out to the Wall Street Journal to clarify if this was a wrestling manager, uh, you know, like, like, some, like a valet or some shit, or if this was somebody in a management position behind the scenes. Um, either way, uh, and also, according to Meltzer, this appears to be all of the dirt that they've dug up from now. Like when they were talking about there appears to be other non-disclosure agreements in, in Vince's history on file. Um, those appear to be those non-disclosure agreements. So at this time, I don't think there will be more that come out unless this becomes like a Me Too movement again. And, you know, everybody comes out of the woodwork. Every girl that Vince has ever winked at starts coming out and saying that they were sexually harassed and whatnot. It's, I don't, it's a bad situation all around. It's bad for Vince. Um, despite all of Vince's nefariousness and all of his dirty scumbaggery, um, I don't, I still don't want to see Vince go out like this, you know, of, of his entire career, everything he's accomplished. I hate to see him, you know, the, the history books be like, yeah, but then he, you know, uh, diddled a bunch of chicks that he worked with and blackmailed them and stuff like that. So uh, it's a, that's a big stain on his, you know, it's a big black mark on, on his record. This first story that broke with this paralegal, he almost seemed proud of that, you know, like, as long as they could prove, uh, which I'm sure Jerry McDivitt, being a fantastic attorney that he is, would be able to uh, fight that and somehow be able to show that that didn't really have much to do with WWE and that her raise didn't have much to do with WWE. Uh, you know, she was moved from one department to another, 
So, uh, and apparently Vince did try to get her more money. So I do think the amount that she was paid and, and like the big jump was because, you know, Vince was fucking her and, and had a thing for her and just wanted to see her do good. Right. Wanted to help a brother out, but also, um, <clears throat> If they can prove that there was some sort of like, uh, you know, like, uh, you do this for me and I'll do that for you, um, then that could be a little bit shady, you know. Um, this is just a bad situation. Vince is going to go out. Uh, this, this isn't good for Vince. He's not going to be able to keep going out on TV. He's not going to be able to keep no selling this and, and trying to just... Uh, push through it. Apparently, Sean Ross Sapp had also reported that that first night that Vince came out on was SmackDown first uh, before the Raw. He even he, he came out on SmackDown right after the allegations. Uh, as soon as he came back to the locker room in the gorilla position, he just said "fuck him," and you know he's just defiant to the very end. And I respect that to a certain extent. You know, if he's fucking some bitch from his apartment complex. And he gets her a job because he's got a crush on her and he's in a position to do so. And then he's done with her and he wants to pass her off to fucking Laurenitis and hook her up with a fat payday on her way out. Uh, it's scum baggy. It's scummy to a certain extent. It's dirty. Um, but it's not illegal or criminal or, you know, inherent unless more details come out. It's just kind of scummy it's just vince being a dirty old man right but you know if he's demoting women because they will no longer do favors for him you know with that that diva for example you know uh if, if apparently in that story she did blow him at least once you know she sucked him off and then was like you know i don't really want any more of that dirty old dick of yours and, and he's like, okay, well, uh, then I guess you can, you know, uh, go down to, uh, well, we won't, we won't say exactly what happened cause that'll kind of point in the direction of who it is, but, um, it's not good. And I know a lot of people are starting to really hate on Vince and he's got a bad image on him right now. There's speculation that the TV networks may come into play at some point because ultimately Vince doesn't have to, he, it's going to be very hard to just fire Vince. Um, he can technically be removed from his old own company, but the board of the directors are going to have to make that happen. And the board of directors are made up of people that Vince appointed. Vince personally put them on the board. This is Nick Khan. This is Stephanie McMahon. This is fucking... Uh, uh, the for Kevin Dunn's on the board. I think I don't know if Triple H is or not, but I mean these are people that are not gonna oust Vince McMahon, and even if they do, Vince still is the uh, majority, uh, majority shareholder in the like. He's they got like two different kinds of stocks, you know, like petty stocks and then like power stocks and he owns the majority of the power stocks so he still has the majority voting rights like 80 percent voting right of the company um so if they were to push him out what he would do then is when the board seats come up he could theoretically just kick them off of their board and then replace them with people that will hire him back on as the chairman and ceo so um, Vince probably is not going to leave unless he steps down on his own. And at that point, I think it's because he's a, already proven he's a stubborn motherfucker, not just through, you know, the whole history of his career and wrestling stuff, but even in this case, you know, just trying to make himself appear publicly every chance that he gets to show that he's not shook by this and he's not going to hide and fuck you. I'm Vince McMahon. Damn it. Um, you know, he's going to have that fucking defiant energy to the very end. And, uh, I think it, you know, if he were to step down, it's going to have to come from like a TV network, like, you know, USA or Fox are going to have to step in and be like, bro, we're not going to renew your contract unless you're like, unless it's going to like, it'll have to be something that kills, that's going to kill the business unless Vince steps down and then he decides, okay, fine, I'll go away. 
Um, but even then, it's kind of reported that he's not... Like, he hasn't been doing the, the running the business business in a long time anyway. Nick khan has been handling a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the day-to-day business dealings. And then, you know, um, he, Vince has just been doing the creative. He's the creative guy. And that's what's important to him. Uh, everything that you see on TV is still, still goes through Vince. He's still the last stop. So I don't know how this will all play out, but it's certainly starting to take a very bad turn for Vince. Um, I don't know if more people will come out in like a Me Too esque situation, but it's it's uh, what else are you gonna do, man? Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Vince still appears on TV. If he's still gonna like be that defiant guy and just come out with his big swing and dick around and fucking ignore it and, and no sell it, or if this is gonna be enough to make Vince kind of crawl in his hole now and, and go hide. Um, Again, it's sad. I don't want to see him go down like that, but we could definitely be looking at the end of Vince McMahon. Uh, Time will tell. This story is just breaking, so how it plays out will remain to be seen in the WWE's board investigation and all of that. Um, But do not be surprised if Vince has to step down uh, and go away. But also, on the flip side, don't be surprised if Vince just no-sells the shit out of this and just powers through it and just fucking pushes on and, and sits at the head of the gorilla table with an iron fist. So we shall see. I'll continue to follow it. But until then, we're moving on to the next. Oh, yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. Yeah. And you can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on the channel. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. <laughs>